Welcome everyone, let's transfer data from our old Samsung to our brand new Samsung Galaxy device. So the first step is on both the old and new Samsung Galaxy, you're going to want to open up the Play Store, you want to search up for the Samsung Smart Switch Mobile and download this one. If there is an update, update. This is also made by the Samsung you know, official company, not some third party. The next step is on the phone you're trying to transfer data to, so the new Samsung, you want to open up the smart switch, like so. You're then going to tap on receive data. You're then going to find Galaxy slash Android, and then you're going to tap on cable. So you just want to find the charger cable for your new Samsung. You can insert one end into the phone and then the other end into your old Samsung. Now once you've done this, you're going to see on the old Samsung, open an app for the USB device. Just tap on smart switch and then tap on just once. If you don't see that prompt, you may need to open up the smart switch app manually. Now we're going to tap on send data and let's try uh, going to connect. So from here, you're going to see smart switch, let's tap on OK, and now we are successfully connected. So from here, it's going to search for data to transfer. All right, we see select data to transfer. So you see here, we have everything. This is all the files, everything. So once this is done, your new Samsung will be just like your old one. You have just accounts, calls, contacts, and messages, and then you have custom. So if I choose custom here, you can see all of the items, documents, audio, videos, images, home screen, settings, Samsung smartwatch, apps, messages, calls and contacts, and your Google account. And once you select your options, just find the transfer button here. Okay, so you may need to scroll down. So if I want to choose everything, I just tap on next and it's going to say transfer your accounts. So you'll see on the old device, copy to new device, we'll just tap on copy here, enter in our fingerprint, and that's going to copy the accounts over. So you may need to enter in passwords, if you don't want to enter them in, just tap on skip, and then uh, just like that, you'll be good to go. You may also see here, transfer your secure folder. If that's the case, just enter in the secure folder unlock like so and now the transfer will start so the screen will lock on both devices that's okay and you just gotta wait for the process to finish if you want the screen on you can just tap on keep screen on and I'll keep the screen on for both devices so once the process is done you're good to go everything has been transferred with that being said thanks for watching see you guys later bye bye